Well, hey there, guys, and welcome to a brand new Ed's Retro Geek Out. Today, we're going to take a look at a couple of custom turtles. It's the new type of toy that I tend to buy. I'm not really into all of the new stuff the bigger companies are putting out, but I really like my art toys. Let's get to it. So, I did a video probably about a year ago about some of the coolest art toys that I didn't get. Here, however, we're going to show you some that came in the mail by one of my favorite art toy creators, Ahimo Ed. Adventures. These are some of the coolest mashups I've ever seen. Six of them came in the mail and we're going to take a look at all six of them in great detail. We're going to be taking a look at Spider Shell and sticking in the Toy Biz animated series of Spider-Man. We've got as well the Black Shell over here, the Toidal Crusader, Swamp Toidal, Judge Red. And the thing that started all for me, how I got to know this creator is by Bones. This is the Raph edition. Honestly, how more 90s can you get by collabing the Spider-Man animated series Toy Biz figures and connecting them with the Turtles. This, this is beyond anything I could have ever dreamt of as a kid. And these are so freaking amazing. The reason I love these toys so much is they really embrace the feels of those Playmates mold from back in the day. Uh, this looks like it could have come out in the 90s, honestly. Over here we got the Mutagenic Spider Shell with Secret Storage Backpack from the new Super Series. This is a Hemo Adventures toy, obviously, and I guess this design has been done by Luke Tobias. So all of these come on card. The card art is perfect. Some of it is done by Turboport. This one is done by Luke Tobias, and they're just spot on, honestly. I know Turboport, he does work for Super 7 as well with the reaction figures and stuff like that. I've ordered a bunch off of um, Hemo Adventures uh, last year. He always has uh, a couple months a year where he allows um, where he allows commissions and uh, you know pre-orders, and that's when you just need to get your claim in. And I, I, it's only a limited amount of spots, and you can actually access his old back catalog. That's how I got most of these. And I said, like, you know, just ship them all at once when you get them. There's still a couple more incoming. It's a really big dilemma because all of his creations look really cool. Here's some of the concept art for the remainder in the Spider Shell series. All of these actually got an action figure made by him. But, you know, I really don't have an unlimited budget, but some of these I just was like, hey, this is no-brainer, I wanna get these. And let's take a closer look at this figure. And here we have him in all of its glory with the weapons. We got a suction cup over here. We have this um, <laughs> buck deterrent thing and a spider um, web shot. Yeah, you can kinda of place on there, as you can see over here, he's got this nicely molded um, hand grip for shooting out his web. That's pretty cool, add to the mold. This one can hold some of the weapons. Look at that head sculpt on there. That is freaking cool. Wow. Okay, so there's no articulation on the legs. This is the back over here. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, you know, the backpack on the Super Spitter Donnie. Wow, yeah, and uh, as with most of his creations, this is, I, I guess, resin and uh, put together with magnets. So you can actually move all that stuff around. On the bottom, you also have some magnets, so you could potentially have him hanging from some metal objects, which is pretty darn cool as well. Usually, I guess, I'm just thinking out loud that um, they perhaps use some of the original molds at uh, together, you know, like what they want to make as if it's like, you know, a kid bash turtle and then start adding sculpture like the details over here on there. And uh, obviously the mask is got like a little bump on the head over here, but this is one cool looking spider shell. It's definitely as if they would have mashed these two together over here. We got the animated series Toy Biz Spider-Man. We got a turtle right here, Stort Shell Edition. He is slightly smaller than uh, the turtles usually are, but hey, that still looks pretty nice, man. <laughs> it's got 90s written all over it. 
Then next up we have the Venom one. Again, it's the same card art, but uh, let's take a look at the action figure that's inside. This is a really daring sculpt, honestly. This is an impressive mold, just with all the tiny uh, sculpture details, like, you know, this, this symbiote just oozing out of the body as if it's just flowing on top of it. You also have this extra head over here, that tongue sticking out, the big Spider-Man logo sculpted onto it. Wow. Like, there's just a ton of detail. Check that out. All of that stuff oozing out of the sculpt, man. Whoa. And, um, yeah, he comes with this little grapple hook thing, which, um, sort of looks like the one that, uh, Razar came with from, um, the movie line. And here we have the bus saw. <laughs> also, again, with just ooze coming out. I think this has got to be some crazy stuff to get out of a mold without breaking these tiny bits and pieces on here. So you do have to be very careful with all of these because this stuff can break off, um, pretty easily. Uh, I'm hoping it doesn't happen to these, but just check it out, all that detail. Check out those teeth in here. Wow. And next up is one of his earlier words, but one of my favorite toy lines ever. Toxic Crusaders and Turtles thrown together. I mean, match made in heaven, right? Both Playmates lines. And uh, this thing is actually, uh, it has some sort of a translucent feel to the figure. Um, what can we see over here? This is part of, I, I guess, one of his first series, you know, alternative heroes from the 90s with original toxic product. And it's got some creature features. We got the Killer Mappa, the Putrid Pizza, and the Toxic Machine Gun. Hey now. On the back, you will see as well the origin story for this one, a cutout ID card, and you can even save some trash points to get perhaps a mail away or something. And over here we have the Toidal Crusader, just like the Toxic Crusader over here. You have the mop coming back with the American flag on it. You got the Toidal Crusader um, shield this time around, all translucent, and even the figure is kind of translucent. That's actually because he can glow in the dark. As you can see, he glows in the dark, just like all of the mops and stuff. This time around, he really has that oozing sculpt thing that was made famous by the Toxic Crusaders. And uh, yeah, this was just taking, you know, an R turtle, adding sculptures to it, adding those tiny splashes on the finish, like you can see over here on the actual Crusader Toxie there. <laughs> Stuff like, like, the things oozing out of, of the shoe over there. So all these little hints and little homages really make this figure for me. Next up, we have Judge Red. As you know, Raphael is my favorite turtle out of the bunch. So I had to get this one. Um, once again, this card art is, is, is a little bit more darker. This is an adult collector toy, but you'll love it. It's pretty darn cool. I am the law. In the back, you can also see Ahimo's most wanted list. You got Judge Red, you got Smoke. Uh, Flipper looks freaking awesome as well. And then a bunch of the other spider shell turtles, which came out around the same time for pre-order. Wrath is back, but this time in Judge Dread outfit. Check it out. Wow. Um, so there's lots of big sculpts on this toy, probably. Um, that means he has to give in a little bit of the articulation over here. Um, the articulation is placed here, but on the other arm where you have this big bulky thing coming out, the articulation is way lower. So, okay, that works like that. Checking out his head sculpt over here. That looks pretty nice. Once again, wow. Just check it out. Oh, I love this. The sides are just sculpted in. Wow. So he's permanently holding his gun. He's got a throwing star stowed away over there because you never know what could happen. <laughs> he does come with a couple of accessories like this big um, uh, baton type of thing. And I, 
I have no clue what this is. I'm not really that uh, known. <laughs> I, I don't really know too much stuff about Judge Dredd. Is this like a badge or like uh, a bracelet type thing? So, yeah. Uh, but it's a raff. It's in a raff, so I had to grab him, obviously. Next up, we have an absolutely crazy sculpt. This is the Swamp Twiddle, a Swamp Thing crossover. And wow, I couldn't believe when he posted this online. He's constantly posting stuff on his Instagram. You can pretty much see him from, you know, um, making the paints to sketch art to going into the prototyping stage. So I definitely recommend checking him out on Instagram if you want to learn more about these toys. This thing, pff, wow, it's the card art, the figure itself. Amazing, the Swamp Turtle, Nature's Creepy Ninja, uh, the usage of the um, Wolfman from the Universal Studios, um, Leo I think as well, and on the back you can see even some more of the creations he's done. There's there's a couple variants over here, you got the Snap Up Swamp Turtle, you got the Camouflage one, the Bio Glow one, and Turtle Juice is one I still have in pre-order. Once again, crazy mashups, but Super, super cool. The double katana wielding swamp toidal Leo. Check this out. Uh, once again, uh, I, I figured these are, you know, the uh, werewolf Leo's uh, weapons. Somewhat altered a little bit, a little bit more of that Swamp Thing sculpt on there. Swamp Thing was a toy line brought out in the early 90s by Kenner. Over here we have the Bio Glow one. And actually, just like uh, Swamp Thing, his sculpt got a lot of, you know, different gimmicky vibes. Like one glows in the dark, one changes color when hot water is involved and stuff. Um, they just kept giving it new gimmicks and variations to the same toy but wow uh i'm super impressed by this sculpt i'm not sure where the head sculpt is from or if this is like something completely new but it just has so much cool detail over here um i'm guessing the hands do come from the werewolf leo or the wolfman leo and then over here this sort of resembles uh, major disaster from the Toxic Crusaders line. It just looks a little bit like that. It's all just drawing inspiration from these awesome Playmate sculpts, honestly. Wow, just take this in, guys. Check it out. Wow, oh, look at those, those leaves on the back there. Got some frogs tucked away over here. <laughs> Every once in a while, you're gonna see some stuff you, you maybe have seen before, or it's just added in. It's super nicely done. This was one I was definitely looking forward to finally owning. And uh, yeah, he's gonna look great in the glass case. And maybe saving the best for last, but this is Bones, the one that initially uh, caught my attention when checking out Instagram one day coming across and being like, whoa, this is Skeleton Warriors meets Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Perfect. Once again, two Playmates lines, and this thing is, is, is just freaking cool. I couldn't believe how he got this together and made it look so realistic as if, you know, this came right out of the 90s. Uh, this is uh, obviously Bones the Skeleton Toidle. He does them for each single one of them. So you can get a Leo, a Raph, a Michelangelo. The weapons will be different and obviously the color, but uh, in the end, it still remains to be a Skeleton Turtle. And uh, this one apparently has new rubber formula. So yeah, yeah. And you get to save one Necro point. Seriously, the amount of creativity that goes into this stuff is, is freaking insane. I love it. <laughs> and lastly, here we go. Finally, I have a Bones, the Wrath variant, taking uh, a little bit of inspiration from obviously the Skeleton Warriors. Check it out over here. Some Scott Hennessy vibes going on here, definitely, but uh, definitely its own thing because it's obviously a turtle and doesn't have any of the clot or the or the gold stuff going on so wow check that out 
Uh, uh. I was thinking like maybe the feet are, are done like the same, but um, I guess it's a new sculpt. I love that there's these little Easter eggs just tucked away like, like a little spider over here. Detail over there. There's like a knife tucked in there. Oh, we have uh, a tail as well. This will probably be inspired by the movie Turtles backs. And uh, yeah, just look at the sculpt on this head. Got the size with the bone. And yeah, wow. Uh, uh. So yeah, guys, be sure to check out Ahimo Adventures on Instagram. If you're not following it already, just do it now, right away. This guy does amazing work you know usually when you and you know usually when you pre-order one of these things you get some extra stickers like this over here here we have some of the spider shell stuff these amazing stickers for the swamp twiddle look at that that's great and uh yeah he always leaves a note as well with a little bit um of, of info on there so thanks a lot ed sorry for a delay i hope you like him i love him so um it was worth the tiny delay if you guys are still waiting for some of your pre-orders they're coming up and on the back it says check the mighty max test and well over here we have a test mighty max Let's check it out. Slightly bigger than an original Mighty Max figure, this translucent test shot is pretty darn cool. <laughs> this thing really got pumped up. Look how big this is compared to the other figures over here. So um, I, I heard that he actually has a lot of variations on this one that he made. It'll probably be a blind bag type of deal that you can get, but um, st stick around on his Instagram and see what happens with this one. Uh, a lot of work has already gone into it. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to share this stuff, but uh, check it out. Wow, this is super cool. Love this one. This one is definitely going to grace uh, my Mighty Max collection from now on. I, ca I can't believe uh, how much stuff is he, is he gonna make? This is this is super cool. I can't wait to see this on his feed when it's like colored in and everything. Wow, love it. Thanks so much for, for adding this one in, buddy. So yeah, guys, um, definitely if you have seen other cool art toys like this in your feed, be sure to drop the links to those. Be sure to drop the names to those creators down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like more 80s and 90s toy videos, then please subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, watch the next video if you can. Um, if you'd like to do more, you can always leave a like, leave a comment, spread the word with sharing this video or check out you know the stuff we have on patreon here as well um that's gonna be it for this video but i hope to see you in the next one see you later bye